Good afternoon folks, Joey Nelson here at Park Model Homes. Today we got a new unit in from Woodland Park. This is the Acadia. Uh, this particular house is 399 square feet. This is a non-lofted unit. We do have a lofted version that I've done before that I can attach a link to the floor plans in the video here, but this is a non-lofted unit. Everything's all on one floor. Something cool about this house though is we did the uh, tall ceilings in the living room and kitchen and we did a peaked ceiling over the bedroom and the bathroom. So it has a cool transition to roof line. I can't really get back there to show you. I got all these houses around here, but uh, I'll show you inside once we get there. Uh, we also did the Pentagon window on the front side here. Now, if we wanted to do a bayed front on this, this is the standard squared front. I can actually bay out this front and just round it off and add a couple more windows here, which is a cool option a lot of people like to do. Um, right here on the right hand side is the entertainment center bump out. I'm gonna come down here. We've got the water heater, which is gonna be located under the kitchen counter. Everything's gonna have outdoor access to it, make it easily accessible. We got the outdoor furnace here. Uh, it's a 40,000 BTU forced air furnace. This black box right here is actually a 50 amp power cord. It's 25 feet, plugs in just like any standard fifth wheel would. We've also got the black water connection. As most RVs, on the driver's side end of the unit is where all the utilities are gonna be, the water, the sewer, the power, and uh, the propane connection. So when you're uh, laying out your RV lot, that's generally where everything's gonna be located. However, during the customization process, we could certainly relocate some of those things uh, to a different location. All right, taking a look in here, we got our standard PVC flooring. Something I like about this flooring is they are separate glued down pieces. That way, if anything gets damaged over time, all you have to do is lift one piece instead of the rolled vinyl. It's all one big sheet. Makes it a little bit more difficult to repair. So... Uh, very easy to repair this type of flooring. Big kitchen space. All this cabinetry in here comes standard. So we did the corner sink. Um, we can do a one bowl sink. It doesn't really fit in this corner very well. So we do the two bowl sink with the pull down faucet. Got the overhead cabinetry over here. We've done the glass doors with the lights in it. If you have something to display like nice china or something, uh, we can do that in this up, upper cabinet here. This red switch is for the water heater. I get a lot of people asking about that. Before you connect your house, you always wanna make sure that's off or the breaker's off because it can burn up the element into your water heater. So uh, keep that in mind if you're setting up your park model, make sure that's off. Once you fill it up with water, then turn it on. Got the propane cooking. You can go electric. You'll need to go 100 amp service in order to do an all electric unit. So just keep that in mind too. Got the microwave above. You can do convection. That's just our standard microwave out of Woodland Park. And I'm gonna look at the ceilings here. I was talking about the ceiling height. We did the flat ceilings all the way through to the front side of the house. So it just feels nice and open and airy. Got all the windows up here to bring in all that natural light. And all the furniture comes with it. We've got the uh, sleeper sofa, the recliner. We do have a moving island that has storage. So this is not fixed to the ground. You can actually rearrange that if you wanted to. We've also got the rough sawn accent wall where the entertainment center is located. Got the electric fireplace that actually throws some pretty good heat out. Good shot of the kitchen here. All of our new sliding glass doors out of Woodland Park will have the internal mini blinds in it, so you can actually close the, the blinds inside the glass pane there just to get a little bit more privacy. Now we're gonna come down in the hallway. Down here, this is the electrical panel. This is in the storage compartment. That's just where the electrical panel is. But in the hallway, there is a ton of storage. In this little corner space here, everything is adjustable shelving. Um, which it makes it really nice too. Um, when you're coming down here, this is also a linen, linen cabinet with adjustable shelving. Uh, this customer, we did a big pantry 
You can put a washer dryer space in here. Right now it's just adjustable shelving. But a lot of people ask, where am I gonna put my, uh, you know, my brooms or vacuums, stuff like that. You can just take out the lower, lower shelves. That way you can get some of that stuff in there. Got the standard three mirrored medicine cabinet here in the bathroom. Cabinet over the commode. And we can also extend that countertop over the commode as well for more countertop space. We got the corner shower and a big linen cabinet here in the shower too. And this is that the peak ceiling I was telling you about. If you wanted to go flat with transom windows up above, we could certainly do that. We just did half the house with it. It does come with the queen size mattress. This actually lifts up for storage underneath it. Makes it nice for uh, storing some stuff you don't really need to get at all the time. Got the overhead cabinets with the bookshelves on each side. All USB outlets and dimmer switch operates the lighting underneath the cabinetry here. And then we also got the his and her uh, t-shirt cabinet and the bank of drawers in the center. We even have like a little plant shelf up here that you could put some of your plants and stuff like that if you wanted to. Tons of storage in this house. You got room for a washer dryer if you want it. Comes fully furnished. Really, they come as turnkey as you could possibly ask for. Um, but you know, if you didn't want the furniture, that's something we would talk about during the customization side of things. We could take the furniture out, save you a couple thousand bucks. So if you have any questions about this house or custom ordering a house, uh, give us a call at Park Model Homes. Phone number is 888-222-2699. Park Model Homes. Thanks, guys.